Lara. We're on the mountain above the glacier. Can you see Trinity? Yes. They're beginning their operation. I'm entering the old city now. Listen, Sophia, don't attack them too soon. We'll give it some time. I'll contact you again soon. I thought I had died. The cold gnawed at me, and I grew weak, even as I saw the Prophet's people camped on the ridge of a strange green valley. One foot after the other, sword in hand, I trudged on. I meant to charge, battle cry on my chapped lips, when consciousness fled and I collapsed into the arms of heretics. They know who I am. They have been expecting Trinity. They do not have much. But they fed me, kept me warm until I could walk again. The prophet told me I could leave whenever I desire, but they have taken my blades. Even armed, I do not know that I could kill this man. I have failed the order. I've failed myself, but I live.
Βγήκαμε σε όπλα, τα οποία χειρίζεται ο δημιουργό. Θα βαδίσουμε και θα καλοτροπώσουμε του εχθρού μα. I leave these notes for whoever should follow in my footsteps. My wounds are worse than I believed. They will not heal. Tonight I will make one last attempt to escape this frozen tomb, but I doubt I have the strength. The divine source is here, at the peak of the tallest tower, but it is beyond my reach. With the source at his disposal, the prophet's deathless ones are unstoppable, an army of wraiths and devils that can never die, a mockery of all God's creation. They are no longer human, and they will break any army that stands in their way. With every death and rebirth, They learn. They adapt. Should Trinity someday find a way to seize it for ourselves, I fear that we will do no better. Perhaps it would be best if it were to remain lost forever. Bethany! <laughs> 